Hey guys, welcome back to the URM Academy YouTube channel. I'm Joey Sturgis, and today we are going to be talking about some settings here in Cubase. I'm going to help clear the air on some of these settings. Um, now, one of the most important settings when you are a producer and you're constantly working with people, you're doing, you know, recording, editing, all of those things combined, um, engineering, you kind of come into the the point where when you're working on a song, like you need to kind of be versatile. You need to be able to switch in and out of things. Maybe you pop in a, you know, punch in a vocal here, punch in a guitar part there, mix a little bit of bass, do some editing, uh, plug in a drum part, like you do all these different things. And so it's really important to have the DAW set in a way that allows you to function efficiently and optimize your time inside the DAW. One of those uh, settings, one of those magic settings I like to call it a magic setting, is the auto monitoring setting in the VST here. I'm in Cubase 9.5. This setting is huge. There's four different options and they all do different things. So let's start with manual, the manual auto monitoring setting. When you have that setting set, each track has two controls that you can turn on and off. You can turn the record enable on and off, and you can turn the input monitoring on and off. These function independently of each other when you're in the manual mode. So this is really annoying because if you're playing the track and as the track is playing, you wanna punch something in, you have to first put record enable on. Next, you need to hit record, and then you need to hit input monitoring so that the person playing can actually hear themselves. And you gotta do that all really quickly. Um, let's take a look at some more of the settings. So the next one is while record enabled. So when this is turned on, basically when you put record enable on, it's gonna automatically turn the input monitoring on for you. The thing I don't like about this though, is if you're punching in a part, let's say you're punching in a bass part, for example, and you turn this on and then you hit play, the bass player is not going to hear any of the previous bass that he um, played, that he recorded. Instead, he's only gonna hear himself. Now, sometimes it's useful. You know, Maybe the person doesn't wanna hear what they, they played before, and they just wanna hear uh, what they're doing right now, and they can just come in on the click, or on the beat, or whatever it is, and uh, they'll it won't matter to them, but you'll clean it up afterwards. The next setting is while record running. So if you have this turned on, what's gonna happen is the input monitoring setting is gonna be turned off um, until you hit record. So for example, if I hit play, and let's just make sure this mix doesn't blow your head off real quick. Could be loud. So I'll hit play and then hit record and you'll see that the input monitoring will turn on and off. Now the thing that I don't really like about this is you can't hear the instrument before you're ready. Um, so right now, let's say we're ready to record and the guy's got the bass in his hand and he's ready to play bass. We don't hear anything. And that's because input monitoring is automatically turned off when you stop recording. Which leaves us leads us to the last setting, which is the tape machine style, which I really enjoy. And this is the best setting in my opinion. Basically what happens is you're gonna have your record enable turned on and your input monitoring turned on at all times unless you're playing. So if I hit play, it's gonna turn off the input monitoring. But then if I hit record, it turns it back on. And then if I hit record again, it turns it back off. So it works like this. And then when I stop, boom, input monitoring turns back on. I can still hear the bass. So this is a good way to sort of get around the session really quickly, punch things in and out, be really efficient. And also you're working in a way that's really helpful to the musicians around you or beside you. Um, just making it really easy to punch them in and out and get things done. Um, but don't forget the this, this isn't the only setting. Um, I, really do like uh, while record enabled sometimes. I think that does make sense. Um, depends on what you're punching in. Sometimes vocalists really uh, need that setting so that they don't get confused by hearing the vocal pattern before 
or maybe they're trying to do harmonies or something like that. These settings all have their different uh, uh, positives and you gotta know when to use the right one. So I would say tape machine style is really good to use for most of the time. Um, I pretty much never would use manual uh, unless you're gonna be very quick on your keyboard shortcuts. Um, so yeah, that's it. That said, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. We're gonna be putting out more videos covering some of these mysterious settings and what they do, what they mean. So make sure you subscribe, smash that bell button to get notified when we upload videos. Uh, give this video a like and in the comments below, let me know what setting you'd like me to cover next. And we'll see you next time.